Hello everybody, let's continue our journey through the Asian Cup groups with Group D where we have top favorites Iran in there and hopefully by this time uh, when this posts the Iran is still in competition and I will not look at the stupid counting them top favorites. Well, they were ahead of the competition so whatever happens it's gonna be like that. Let's have a look. Um, as I said, the first team is already uh, the the Iran that we will look at um, same jersey as at the World Cup um, white Adidas basically this is the UAE jersey without anything on it white red uh, crew neck uh, collar right, with a little V uh, red shoulder straps and then uh, just red sleeve cuffs team wear where the Iran logo was stuck on there. However, there is one little extra detail that um, got put on there. It's the little circle with the cheetah, um, which I think is a nice touch that it's on there. However, I would prefer that it would be all over like the pedal, like it was in 2014 for the Ushbot kids. Um, it's a very simple jersey. However, I think it's uh, also not too bad looking but more than average for such a now favorite team I really cannot go higher than the five stars I gave it I also would like that the crest is a little bit altered um, don't have the soccer ball there yes there's the flag if you just take the center symbol from the flag I think this would make for a really nice jersey also put a little bit more green on the shirt but most Iran shirts um, usually have only white and red the away shirt is actually looking a little bit better, but we haven't seen it so far at the Asian Cup, and I'm not sure if we will. Um, it is the same Condivo template that we have seen for Belgium, we have seen for Sweden, and for many, many other nations and clubs around. And I gotta give it to this template. It looks okay. It looks all right. Um, the red, you have to do two red tones, which kind of uh, make this meshed pattern, and otherwise with white accents, and again, um, crest and cheetah stuck on, but it is a better shirt for all of that, because there is a little bit more to look at there. That's why I give uh, the away shirt seven stars. I hope we will see it. I, again, I'm not sure that we will. Now, Iraq. Um, Took me a little bit of research, uh, but the Iraq home jersey is this white uh, one that we already have seen uh, previously. I think it was with, with um, Palestine, the template, but now this is the template in green. Again, a very simple jersey, white with the red, uh, with the green uh, shoulder uh, stripe, and then of course the green crew neck collar. Um, I think it looks overall all right. It's very simple. I call it I call it the Yakos Puma template because it's kind of copying what Puma is doing, but with the circles on there, it also has its own touch. It's very simple. I just wish that the flag was replaced by some symbol. I mean, put something else up there. That's the one thing that bugs me a little bit. I always find that putting a flag as a rectangular thing it looks kind of boringish to me. Uh, other than that, simple, effective, quite nice. I would give it six stars, but I wish that there was a little bit more on there. The green away kit, and it might be the home kit, but I think from all that I could say, um, whenever Iraq was the away team, they wore the green, and when they were the home team, they wore the white. So that's why I think this is still the away jersey. Also, Wikipedia uh, confirms this kind of. This one looks actually really, really nice. Um, first of all, note that the Yako bubbles are now only on the sleeves and not also extending on the shoulder, but other than this, green with the shadow striping uh, in two tones uh, gives it a lot of structure. Also makes the flag not stick out like a sore thumb this time around. Um, numbers really nice, you have the Yako logo. It's again a very simple kit, but and also there's this white side uh, stripe that becomes now very common these days, but it's also repeated on the shoulder. So there's some cohesion there as well that I really like. And I think it's a pretty good looking kit. Uh, I'll give this, yeah, if the flag was with a national symbol, and I don't know that now the coat of arms of Iraq, um, would be interesting to see that one. Uh, 
then I would go higher, but I would give, give this uh, eight stars. It is a pretty unique kit at this Asian Cup. Uh, you don't, we don't have many that go outside of red and white, so for that one I like it. Speaking of red kits, Vietnam. Um, I honestly don't know now the uh, supply of uh, Vietnam, but they have very interesting and nice kits that fit right in with the Bahrain mold a little bit. Uh, red and then with this chevron, a little bit like a Bavarian flag, but you have the chevrons going across the chest, holding the manufacturer logo and the flag. And then uh, this is repeated and it has kind of this lozenges uh, pattern. Uh, if you look at the goalkeeper, they're actually uh, copying Nike here too. I gotta give it to them. I wish it was repeated on the honors list, but this is a very unique pattern that um, reminds me a little bit of about uh, Bayern Munich, to be honest. Um, but makes this shirt quite interesting to look at. Um, also, you have the gold, which fits nicely with the flag, although maybe a, a yellow might have worked better. But um, the overall look is quite strong of this one. Uh, also, really nice kit, and for that, I think I'm also gonna give this eight stars. And I have to look up the supplier. I will probably have posted it by now here. Uh, the away kit does the same thing in white with a red collar. And as with the UAE, it is nice to have the pattern there, but the red kind of hides it. Uh, the white kind of hides it. I like that the flag is popping a little bit more. I like the red collar, but I feel that there should be a little bit more. Um, different color. You can even make this with a slight touch of red. And very, if, if you make it very subtle, uh, I think this could work even with red. But yeah, it is what well, well it is. It's still a pretty nice kit. I would give it um, yeah, seven stars. And that leads us to the last team, which is Yemen. And Yemen has probably the simplest kit of the entire Asian Cup kit set. Again by Yako, and note almost all those uh, teams above the Arabian Peninsula, uh, or at the, around the Arabian Peninsula, have Yako. This, it's the sponsor that is uh, 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 not sponsored, the uh, supplier that is most featured. The home kit, simple red. Put the crest on there, which actually looks nice. You have a nice numbering style, and then the Yako logo. There isn't much more to it. It is, I would say, it might be a little bit boring, but honestly, better this than making anything crazy that just doesn't work. And for that, yeah, I think six stars. The away kit is the same thing in white. I don't understand the black numbers, to be honest. I think uh, there, a uh, different uh, color would have helped even make the Yako dots, although they're always kind of grayish. Uh, if they would be reddish or greenish or something like that, that could work even better. So for me, the Awake it is a little bit of disappointment here for that. Um, although it's simple, it could use a little bit more color. And I, as I said, the black, yes, it's one of the national colors, but it just makes it more boring for that. Um, only five stars. Well, let me know what you thought about these shirts. As I said, there are a few interesting kits in there. Um, I think it's a little bit dis dis disappointing that Iran still has those Adidas kits that are not as great. I really loved them once in 2014. But yeah, Iran is uh, its own story with all of that. Uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I'll talk to you soon with Group E. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.